Good morning. It's a Monday morning and I'm just getting ready for the day. I do like to do my makeup every single morning. Do I always? No. But do I like to? Yes. It just makes me feel more productive. But like I do film without makeup on. You've seen it in a lot of videos. Sometimes I look rough in my videos and I'm not ashamed. I like like the way I look with no makeup too. But I do find if I start my day with like putting on my makeup, I'm a lot more productive. And working from home, that feels kind of necessary a lot of days. I figured that this week I would take you guys along with me and do a week in my life as a full-time booktuber. I do technically still do wedding photography on the side. I feel like I say on the side now because most of my time and energy goes into booktube these days. After I'm done this, I'm going to go make my coffee. And then these days I do have to play with the kittens at some point in the morning because they are crazy. <laughs> And I obviously want to give them some enrichment and also because I'm streaming today on Twitch. I'll be at my computer desk for like two to three hours without moving and they will come drive me insane if they don't get some energy out so that they can sleep a little bit while I'm busy and then at lunchtime I will play with them again. I think I will be starting to work on my every romantic vlog so I won't talk about what books I'm reading in this vlog but I will kind of... I think go over how much I read each day because that is part of my job. Reading is truly the number one thing that I need to do other than like content creation. Also tip, if you are not sure about liquid blushes, I use old lipsticks or sometimes new lipsticks as my little liquid blush. Like look, that looks so pretty. I also like to take my liquid blush up all the way to like my under eyes currently. And then when I conceal, it'll brighten and it'll look very more seamless in my opinion. I've also currently been using the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer and I'm really liking this. I'm super pale, so this works for my coloring. Normally I'm a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Stan and that is the only concealer I will use. So I don't know what got me to try this one, but I have been really liking Liking it. I feel like it doesn't look cakey at all and it's a really good color for me. I am wearing the N1. Claire made me this winter bracelet. I wear it every day. Shut up Claire. The cats are already driving me insane but I have my coffee. I have a well-balanced breakfast of a carrot cake cupcake. I have a few things I need to get done before I play with them. I want to post to my community tab. Now that I've started Twitch streaming, I haven't really been promoting it enough. Like, it's brand new. So every time I'm going to go live, I'm going to ask people to do a poll on my community tab. What color they want my light to be. It's purple right now because that's what they voted for last time. And then every single Monday on my Patreon, I write a Dragon Digest, which just is my, like, weekly newsletter, essentially. It goes over, like, my plans for the week, my content for the week, what live shows I have what books I'm currently reading, things like that. So the patrons kind of get like an insider scoop of like my weekly plan. And then I also will fill out my weekly planner with you guys. I don't use this every week. I'm not gonna lie to you, but on a peak, I am in content creating mode. I do try to use this and just go over what things need to be done each day. Oh my god, it's literal crazy zoomies here though. I'm kind of getting used to the whole Twitch thing because this will be my first week being like a Twitch streamer. So we'll see how this like falls into everything. Okay, I have pulled up Notion on my computer so that I can fill my little weekly thing out. I do actually have a schedule. Honestly, I didn't think I did until like I kind of started using this and I realized what I do. So today I have to stream. So I'm gonna write that down. Stream and then Wednesday a video has to be published and then on the weekend a video published. I don't really stick to my schedule that often. If I publish a video on Thursday instead of Wednesday, I'm okay with that. But the idea is two videos a week because I have a video that likes to go up on Wednesday. Tuesday is my filming day. so. 
I film on Tuesdays and I will write that down in this little thingy. I will most likely edit the video for Wednesday on Wednesday. I'm kind of psycho like that, but I'll film as many videos as I can on Tuesday. I'm looking at my schedule currently, I'll be able to film the reading journal flip through, the June wrap up, and the best and the worst so far probably. I might wait to do the final half of the year TBR, but we'll see how I feel about that. That requires me to actually come up with that TBR. In order to get my reading journal flip through out, I do think I will need to work on that today because I am behind on some reviews, so I might try and fill those out. We will see. Tuesday night, I watch Vampire Diaries with my patrons, so I'm gonna put that in. It's looking like I don't have a lot of work on Thursday, so I probably will do Patreon sprints on Thursday at some point, uh, whether daytime or nighttime. Not entirely sure yet. This weekend, I actually have photography stuff, so I will probably not do anything this weekend for YouTube besides read. Uh, because I'm doing this vlog, I can kind of take it easy with reading a little bit this month, but I do want to start reading, so we will, I guess, see how that goes. I might sprint tonight, too. I'm kind of feeling like reading right now, but we'll see. I'm kind of a lot chiller with my sprint schedule, and it's a little more impromptu, but that's pretty much all I do. This is what this thing looks like. It's just, like, super simple. And when in doubt, I either read or edit. No in between. So, yeah, I'm gonna play with the cats and get ready for my Twitch stream. I found the note. I always love to come visit him. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Jun Junimo, are- Wait, we, the Junimo, are happy to aid you in maternity as our gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of the squirrel. Okay, what I was thinking, I want to cast you read along when you're reading the books to us. <laughs> hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? I just finished my first Stardew stream. It went really well. Thank you for everyone who's hanging out with me while I stream. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. I did have some microphone issues. So I gotta figure that out before the next stream, which I think is going to be Thursday night, which doesn't matter for this, but essentially I'm gonna be cozy streaming during daytime hours. And then I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's in the evening <laughs> whenever I stream. Cause that's like a horror game. And I didn't think people could do it in the background. My mom is bringing me home Taco Bell for lunch because it's Canada Day and she's off and she's out shopping. So that's exciting. So I'm gonna go have Taco Bell. And I don't really know what the rest of the plans are today because I do want to stream Thursday night evening. I think I'm going to Patreon Sprint tonight and get that over and done with, which means I have to pick what I'm reading. Also means I probably have to start the next vlog, which like sometimes I just don't want to start a vlog because it requires me to be like, ready. So I think I might read a few first chapters before my mom comes home because I'm not sure what I'm in the mood to read. I did do a poll on Patreon, but it didn't help me. So we'll see. That's really my update for the day. Nothing super exciting is happening today. I might watch Top Chef with my mom for a bit, which if I do that, I will work on my reading journal while I watch TV. It's something I can multitask with. So yeah, that's all. I was not nearly as productive as I planned to be today, which is fine because I'm now on sprints for Patreon which then consists of the next three to four hours being more work time for me. So like sometimes if I know I'm sprinting in the evening, I do like to try and take like the afternoon off because otherwise essentially just working like all day long, even though like it's a fun and a hobby, it's still technically work for me. But I'm starting Flames of Chaos for my Every Romantic Challenge, which is really exciting. I'll let you know how much I read today to like kind of tell you about this vlog, I guess. And I don't think I have anything else to say. I do need to send out Etsy orders, which I forgot about. So I'll either do that tonight or tomorrow morning before I film, but I probably won't update you again for this. I'll probably sprint, it's 7.20ish right now. So I'll probably sprint until like nine o'clock my time and then I'll call it a night. I'll go to bed and I'll watch some more TV in bed. Yeah. Good morning. I woke up today and decided I did not want to film. And something really important to me and my content creation is listening to myself and like what I'm willing to do that day. My best content, my best videos come from when I'm excited about filming them, I'm excited about making them. So I've always kind of just let myself move things around and switch it about a little bit. So we're not filming today, which is why I don't sit on a real like Wednesday, Saturday schedule, even though when we looked at my notion, it looks like that. I'm okay if my video goes up Thursday, it does not affect me. It can even go up Friday, like it's okay and I'm very chill with it. I know like a lot of people need more of a strict schedule, but I just personally don't and this has been what I've 
I've learned works the best for me. So I'm moving things around a little bit. I'm going to eat my wonderful breakfast of watermelon. I know it's kind of weird, but I put salt on my watermelon. Listen, salt enhances things. You literally put salt on things to bring out the flavor of things. So I put a little bit of salt just to bring out the flavor of watermelon on my watermelon. And I've done it since I was little. My mom does it too. That's where I got it from. And it's absolutely delicious. So you should try it, but everyone makes fun of me for it. Then today I'm either going to read, since I did not make it far into my book yesterday and I, I do need to read, like reading is my job. Or I also need to send out Patreon bookmarks, which will take me probably about two hours today, but I can watch TV while I do that, which is nice. And I need to finish watching Bridgerton. Well, I need to start watching the second half of Bridgerton. So I think I might do that and then I'll read. And then tonight I have Vampire Diaries with my patrons, which is a job that I spend about three hours on every single night. So I'll also need to like tie in like some break time, but I did kind of stay in bed a little bit later today. I didn't get out of bed until like nine o'clock. I was like reading in the beds and Theo was cuddling with me. So I didn't want to get out. So I was just like reading on my phone. But yeah, like that's like a big important thing about my structure of being a content creator is I like really like to listen to like what I'm excited to do. If I filmed the video today, I would be so low energy. So why not film it tomorrow when I'm willing to like give it my all? Hi Nat, I'm glad you can make it. Oh, I'm sorry, you're still not feeling well. Nat has come for the healing powers of Elijah. Hi Nat, glad you're here. Hopefully Elijah makes you feel better. A little close and Elijah will make you feel something. I don't know if it will help you feel not feeling well. Elijah makes everything better. Hi Ashley. Episode eight. My hair is very wet and not really really cooperating, which means I probably need to blow dry it, which I'm not excited about. Yesterday, I watched Vampire Diaries with my patrons. I do this every single Tuesday. It starts at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. We watch three episodes. We're technically watching the originals right now because we just got to the point where the originals started and we're going back and forth and following like a schedule of episodes. It's a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed this watch along. It's a few people's first time watching. Some of us have rewatched it a million times and know everything and then there's people like me who I've rewatched it but I forgot everything that ever happened in this show so I feel like I'm just being surprised every single season by what goes down and that's a lot of fun to do with everyone and like speculate things and have our favorite characters so that's one of my favorite things that I do with my Patreon currently is those watch alongs. Typically takes three hours. The originals takes a little bit longer because we do have to do some ads during that, but yeah, so that's what most of my day was yesterday. I need to film my video to go up today. Listen, I would like to say that I'm more on top of it a lot of the time, but I'm not. And if I'm being honest, I'm gonna film one video today, get it up and uploaded, and then tomorrow I'm gonna have to get ready and film my like sit down videos so that the video can go up today. That's just my reading journal flip through, so it should be pretty easy. I don't have to be on camera, so I'm actually probably not gonna do my makeup today. I do like to give it, even though I said I like to do my makeup and be productive, I have nothing that I'm like online for today. So I may give my face a makeup break, depending on if I end up reading, I might put a little bit on because I'm at the start of a vlog. And I like the start of vlogs to be a little bit more put together. Listen, if you watch my videos, I start off really put together and as it goes to the end, and I fade into the unput together category. Essentially on YouTube, the analytics are if people watch 50% of your video, they're staying for the last half. So you're editing your looks everything should be better in the first half than it is in the second half. And I mean, it should still be good in the second half, but knowing that stat makes me get a little bit lazier with like my hair and makeup at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna make a coffee because I need that today. And then I'm going to clean up my reading journal desk because I need to do that in order to film my sit down flip through. Then we're gonna film that and then we're gonna edit that today. And then we're gonna probably watch more of The Mole on Netflix because I watched all the episodes that came out of season two and then I had to go back and watch season one because I don't know what I was doing and how I haven't watched it because it's the traitors but better. I'm tired today. These cats woke me up so many times. Miley was at 4 30 in the morning she wanted to play so badly. This is why I'm tired these days. I play with them a lot so they wake me up when they want to play.
Okay, here is my mid-year flip through. I have to do this update on my phone because I need my memory card in my computer for this. I just filmed the reading journal flip through and the rest of the day is going to be editing and I have to make a thumbnail. So to make a thumbnail, I typically just screen grab from the video, except for I like make sure I'm planning for the thumbnails. Like I normally have a video of me just like making faces, holding books and like pausing like it's a picture in the video. This just worked really well for me. It is better quality for actually taking pictures, but I am a little bit mixed of good quality, but also what works for you. And this way has been the one that works for me. Obviously with reading journal spreads, I wasn't in them, but I did do a little video of me with all of them. I'll show you it. And so I just kind of like set the screen, slowly started adding things. And right there, that I think is a good shot. So I'm going to screenshot it. This is hard to do with one hand. Oh my God. I'm going to do that a few times. I'm going to go through and find a few that I like, screenshot them. We will take it into Canva. Next up is editing. I do my editing in a couple stages. The first edit goes through an app called Recut, and this takes out all the silences. It is life changing as a YouTuber, so go get it. I actually heard about this through Sid, Sid Bookorum. She told me about it, and it changed my life. So hopefully, it also changes yours. And then after that, I go through Premiere Pro and I just kind of watch through and do all my little edits of like deleting anything that I stumbled across, adding all my zoom ins, adding all of my pops. All of my sound effects come from Epidemic Sounds. I do pay for that. And yeah, that's pretty much what my day will look like for the next little bit is just editing this video and then it'll go up. I was listening to an audiobook while I did my thumbnails. I obviously won't be able to do that when I edit. That's how I got a lot of reading done audiobooks while I'm doing things like this. My video is exporting. It is not even 11 o'clock, which means I made really good progress today on everything that I was doing. I think I'm gonna go get ready after I upload this to YouTube and like set it to public and then I might record today. But actually I need to sit down and figure out the sit down video for next week. It's my like mid-year TBR, like the TBR for the rest of the year. I need to sit down and figure that out. So I might do that this afternoon. 
today is like my kind of chill day there's a person celine dion is in the back um today is like my chill day because i don't have any like live shows planned so it means that i can kind of do whatever i want to do and i'm not on a set schedule at all so like i really like that i also do need to eat lunch i've been really bad at eating lunch but yeah after this i'm just gonna go through i'm gonna set my title my title will be pretty simple for this it'll just be like mid-year reading journal flip through test and compare so i'll put all three thumbnails i made up into that i was already making three thumbnails four some thumbnails five thumbnails before i think your thumbnail is very important and so you should spend time on your thumbnails so it was easy for me to like go back to test and compare and i will link all the videos that i need in the thing before it goes live and yeah i hope that that does good my setup did really good so i think that this one might do good as well I think that's like all I have to do today. Like I have a really chill Wednesday, which is nice, especially because this weekend I'm working on photography. So I'm working Friday, Saturday and Saturday will be intense because it's an eight hour wedding, but it's an hour and a half away from my house. So it'll be a long, long day for me. I do a friend, I have a second shooter. Hi, it's Thursday and I've already gotten ready. I've recorded a clip for the vlog that I'm working on. I'm gonna go make coffee. Then I think I'm going to work on some short form content today. I have a few ideas for reels, so I'm gonna record those. I think I've decided to put this vlog up Saturday, Sunday instead of filming today, but who knows? I also did get ready. I feel like I look pretty good. My hair looks good, so I might film my wrap up, but I'm just not prepared to film more than one video. So I'm thinking it might be better for me to wait and film my wrap up next week and film like four sit down videos one day instead of constantly playing catch up so then I can put this vlog out because I do have this vlog and I was ending it tomorrow anyways because I am off on the weekends to do photography. My shoot on Friday did just get rescheduled so there's that. I only have to work Saturday for a wedding but I will be dead Saturday and then I probably will be dead Sunday and hang out with my boyfriend because he does need attention sometimes. Um, that is important. It is really easy to forget about significant others in content creation I think. It is hard because you're essentially growing a little business and it takes all of you that but you have to schedule time to hang out with your partners during this because it is not just a nine to five. I don't get off at five o'clock and then don't think about it at all. I'm constantly on my Discord, talking to my patrons, doing all this stuff, but I watched all of The Mole and don't get new episodes until this weekend. So I'm gonna work today because I definitely chilled a little bit yesterday, but I am streaming tonight on Twitch. So I don't know. 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 But I'm also going to try and finish this book. I got the audiobook because I was needing to do some stuff and that has made me a lot more productive with reading. Audiobooks are how I read so much. If I didn't have audiobooks, I wouldn't read as much. Like when I'm playing with cats, audiobook. I'm going to go make a coffee, audiobook. Folding laundry, audiobook. <laughs> That's it. Like whenever I'm doing something that like takes not as much brain power, I have an audiobook on. But yeah, I do want to film a reel. I have a really good reel idea. I just need to come up with some books for it. Listen, don't mind the mess that's back here, but I film my reels with just a ring light and I have a little phone adapter. This is actually exactly how I film my videos too. I just have my camera on a tripod, but I use my ring light for all of my lighting because I live in a basement, so there's not a lot of natural light down here. It faces like here for my reels and then when I set things up for my YouTube videos, it's like right here. Listen, all you need is a ring light and a camera to do this in my opinion that's all you need and your phone is a camera go like this i know i have good judgment i know i have good taste it's funny and it's ironic that only i feel that way guys i called it <laughs> don't worry It's literally pointed at the screen. Okay, now look to the left. Oh my god, what is that? What was that? I don't want that one. That one's not part of my white shoes. Main plan of attack for today, I've already been filming some Instagram reels. I'm really trying to work on my short form content. I would like to be better at having an Instagram presence, shorts, TikTok, 
those things. You can see the little kitty cat. So I'm trying to like batch some content. However, I find Instagram Reels incredibly hard. I find TikTok incredibly hard. I used to create on TikTok pretty regularly when I was in the makeup industry. I did special effects makeup. I actually had 50K on TikTok. So like I've done it before, but I find short form content takes a lot more out of me than long form content. I struggle with it. You have to be trendy, you have to be catchy, you have to be posting very regularly, you have to be like around a lot more than I find on long form content. When I was posting on TikTok, I was posting three TikToks a day. So when I created a makeup look, I had to create anywhere from like six to nine TikToks on that makeup look or else I wouldn't have enough content to be posting. And I mean, Bookstagram doesn't take that much. I would say it's like once a day, three times a week you need to be posting, but I still find that incredibly draining. The concepts on Instagram are just not like what truly call to me, but I'm trying because I would like to have more of an Instagram presence. I love Instagram. It was my first like love of a social media platform. So there's that. Uh, so I'm trying to do that. So I have batched probably like six reels over the last two days. I have a few more ideas, but not executing them currently. Today's main plan is editing this video because this is gonna be a video to go up either Saturday or Sunday. And then I also need to do some photography prepping for my wedding tomorrow. I need to make sure my batteries are charged, my memory cards are clean. I need to talk to the second shooter, make sure she knows the game plan, print out some stuff to do all of that. And then tonight I'm going to like a live escape room and having dinner with some friends. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, but you won't see any of that. This actually could be the last clip in this little week with me. We'll see if I come back later. I do think that I am pretty flexible with my weekly content and how like my weeks work. I really listen to myself and what my own wants are because otherwise I get burnout. I'm not someone who needs such a strict schedule, but I do need to like be aware of what needs to be done. And so I like to have like a plan going into the week, but I let myself make changes into it. As you saw, I made a lot of changes. Um, last night we did stream Five Nights at Freddy. That was really good. It was a shorter stream people turned up I'm liking it I'm not really sure how streaming and booktube is gonna go hand in hand yet how that balances in my life because I'm really liking it but yeah I think when it comes to me and my weeks it's about letting myself feel how I want to feel and like do things I want to do and I'm excited about because I find that when I'm excited about something I'm better at it which is a blessing when you work for yourself that you can do those things however I will say I've done not enough reading this week I'm my audio my headphones are in I have about an hour left in flames of chaos but I typically read at least two books a week more a lot months but july is also always my slowest reading month there's something about burnout for me in july that like i just don't want to read as much so i'm hoping to read four to six books this month and i'll count that as a win hopefully more i would say six to nine books is probably happy place for me but there are months where i've read a lot more than that i've read like 20 books a month before just depends on my priorities but this week definitely reading wasn't a priority i wasn't really feeling it and again i like to let myself do things i want to do because i enjoy books more when i'm in the mood to read although it is my job so I can't like let it go like completely to the wayside but because I had this vlog and I'm only planning for two vlogs a month these days I know that I only have to read three books for a vlog and I can do that no problem even letting myself like chill a lot so yeah that is kind of how my brain is working these days. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this week. I hope you learned some like interesting fun things about how like I plan my content out. And if you are interested to learn about how I used to take my bookstagram photos, I will leave that video up here for you to check out.